Governor Brian Schweitzer visited Montana Tech Thursday to meet with students from Saudi Arabia. He came to share some stories of his life while he worked in their country and about diversity in Montana on the heels of recent reports some Saudi students were being harassed and mistreated in the community. I just wanted to stop by and say as a representative of the, of the people of Montana, I wanted to say Maha, welcome. I, I wanted to say to you that I appreciate that you have selected not just Montana Tech, but Montana as a place for your studies. And I want you to know this, that this friendship that we have with you, it won't end when you go back to Saudi Arabia. We, we understand that we have built a relationship. And I hope five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you will remember some of the very good teachers that you had here, some of the very good friends that you made here, and some of the new ideas that you uh, arrived at here. I don't think most of the people that you have met here, they can have really any idea about the difference between your culture and our culture. Schweitzer said that many people, not only some in Butte, don't understand different cultures, which can lead to tension and misunderstandings. He tasked the students with being ambassadors for their country to educate those that don't understand. You know that, you know the story of Osama bin Laden. You know his story. I know his story as well. You know that he doesn't represent the Saudi people any different than some criminal from the United States representing <coughs> all the people from the United States. You know that. And so, some people don't know that. You are ambassadors. Not everybody will listen to you when you explain the thing I just explained to you. Not everybody will. Some will. And sometime, the only thing you can do is say, okay, they'll never understand it and walk away. But some will understand. So please, don't stop. Don't stop explaining. Because you are more than a student. You are an ambassador. One tech student, who was not targeted during the recent rash of harassments, said most people in Montana have gone out of their way to ensure he and his family feel welcome and understands not everyone here can offer the same. That's me, not all of Americans are the same. That's with group, small group people do that. Yeah. Schweitzer further pointed out that students picked a great place to get an education and learn about American culture. This place more than any place else in Montana, maybe as much as any place in the United States, has been a place that has accepted people from all over the world. During the mining days, people came here and they, they spoke 30 languages in the mines. They came as immigrants, first generation, from every place you can imagine. And this place, Butte, accepted all the people to come together. Reporting for the Montana Standard, this is Erica Yakowicz.